Hi, welcome back to our Tefl Online here in Glasgow. And here in, in the studio now we have for you Rob Howard. Hi Rob, how are things with you? Things are great, thanks Nick yeah. for having me here. Good, good. And you're a, a B-SIG scholarship winner, is that right? Yes, I was honoured and chosen this year to be the B-SIG scholarship winner. And what did you do to, to uh, win that honour? Well, applied. And oh, right. this okay. is one thing that we talked about a lot last night is um, people just don't apply and really? wonder why oh. they don't win. Oh. Um, I was really happy because I found out last night there were about 1,600 people applied. Uh -huh. And it was basically giving some background about what you did in uh -huh. essay and everything. And yeah. 25 of us were chosen. Yeah, great, so great. Very pleased. And you're doing a talk here as well? On yes, I, in fact, I just finished a talk oh, right, right now. Good, good, good. And it's about how to secure yourself as a business professional. Uh -huh. with business English teaching and went well but what I'm talking about is we're seeing a huge transition especially in Brazil where because the market is terrible for English teachers uh -huh. people wake up and say it's Wednesday I'm now teaching business English uh -huh. without any training uh -huh. and what we're trying to do is hopefully get people more active in the BSIG and uh -huh to use the resources that BSIG has mm -hmm. and really study and, you know, become mm -hmm. a true business English teacher. Yeah. I mean, if you want to teach business English, do you have to have a background in business? Well, this is always an argument. For me, I'm kind of a purist. I actually came from business background mm -hmm. before becoming a teacher. And I feel it helps a lot because you can mm -hmm. relate better with your mm -hmm. students and your clients. But that's not to say that a good teacher can't learn, yeah. and it depends which way you're going at it. Are you yeah. really teaching English, or are you mm -hmm. helping them facilitate yeah. business yeah. English? Yeah, I mean, I used to teach uh, a, a class for a telecom company, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, when I, and I was told I had to go and teach them a specific book, which was all about telecom vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And I took it in, and they said, "Look, if we didn't know that, we would we would be sacked." Exactly. You know, so what we need to, to learn is how to be sociable and exactly. uh, you know, and friendly and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it's funny because a lot of clients that I go into, they say, mm -hmm. "Oh, I need business English, business English," and when you have a conversation you realize they can mm -hmm. deal with that. Yeah. It's after the meeting, yeah. they don't know how to socialize. Yeah. Being in the bar and, exactly. and networking and yeah. you know, those kinds of things. And I find most of it is, you know, like with any teaching, it's a lot of confidence building mm -hmm. because yeah. they feel because they're more professional, they're more worried about the level of their English and how yeah. they discuss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, talking to you about business English. But I first heard of you through EFL Talks. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about what EFL Talks is? Yeah. Well, um, I'm very happy to say that you are our second keynote speaker for oh. EFL Talks, uh -huh. and thank you for that. But what I had was an idea for teacher development um, mm -hmm. from students that I had all over the world, like Morocco mm -hmm. and Turkey. And what I realized is that they can't come to great conferences like mm -hmm. this, and there's only 25 scholarships yeah, yeah. That you can bring, and they're not getting the teacher development that they need. Mm -hmm. And we all, you know, CPD is the huge buzzword around mm -hmm. for years now. And what I thought of was coming up with a way of getting people like yourself to talk about the specifics for teacher mm -hmm. development and make it available for free for mm -hmm. teachers everywhere all over the world. Yeah. And we came up with the idea of 10 and 10, where you do a 10 minute talk using only 10 slides. Mm -hmm. And we started with live events, which mm -hmm. you were a part of. And now we're going to recordings where we're talking about the specific concepts, mm -hmm. the products that are available, the mm -hmm. organizations like IATEFL. Mm -hmm. And even down to right now, what we're doing is building the teacher's video glossary, mm -hmm. where we'll take a term like scaffolding, mm -hmm. and a speaker will talk for 10 minutes, define it, mm -hmm. tell how, when, and why to use it. And mm -hmm. the idea is to keep growing this and building Great. it. And why did you decide on 10 minutes? Was that just random? Or? It was kind of a hook. I was thinking about, you know, a TED Talk. I was thinking mm -hmm. about the Pesha Kucha and then mm -hmm. It's, it sounds like a joke, but it's actually true. I was juicing 
<laughs> and I thought, oh, this is blended teaching. And, mm -hmm. you know, came up with the idea of mixing everything. Yeah. And then I thought 10 and 10, you know, it has a nice yeah, ring yeah. and it's a good yeah, hook. Yeah. Yeah, and are these free, these videos as well? Yeah, yeah, the videos we'll always keep for free. Where would somebody find them if they're watching this and they want the... the EFLtalks.com. EFLtalks.com. Yeah, and That's we have everything archived, yeah. and they can go in and search through, whether it be by your name mm -hmm. or by the subject matter, and watch these videos online. Mm -hmm. And we like it because it's mm -hmm. nice. In 10 minutes... You know, you really have to get to the point, and you know it's difficult to make yeah. your point in 10 minutes. An hour is easier than 10 minutes. Sure, and you know, <laughs> we're teachers, so we're used to talking all day yeah. long, but to talk in 10 minutes is tough, so yeah. this made it kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're also here in another capacity as an independent publisher as well, aren't you? And yes. this is this is something new for IATEFL, I think, as well. Within yeah, the... we were, um, some of us were talking about how People like myself, I've written a few ebooks, and you know, you working with ebooks, it's difficult for us to get out in the market and mm -hmm. come to something like this because it's cost prohibitive, mm -hmm. especially somebody who has only one book out or mm -hmm. something. And to get a booth or something like that, and we really know that we're going to be the future mm -hmm. of what's happening with books coming out, especially when you get into things like business English mm -hmm. or specific uh, yeah. purposes yeah. and what we tried to do is come up with a way of showing IATEFL that they need to bring down the price for people like us mm -hmm. to get us in here mm -hmm. and we're doing an experiment uh, four of us have gotten together um, myself with the FL Talks and a few of my books with Wegu, Satami, and mm -hmm. Teachers to Writers. Mm -hmm. And we got a small booth together, and you know we're doing an experiment with help of Ayatefel, mm -hmm. and Marjorie is helping out. Mm -hmm. And to show them that you know this is viable yeah. if they make it affordable for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. great, so, good. Yeah. Well, I hope that works out okay for you. Yeah? We yeah, do too. Okay. Well, thanks for coming along and talking to us, and oh, uh, good so. luck with the booth, and, and I hope, I'm sure the talk went well, and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes with another interview, so stay tuned, and see you soon.